He was a Tennessee lawmaker, movie star, and TV actor. Former U.S. Senator Fred Thompson was a jack of all trades, but tonight he passed away, leaving behind a long legacy. He was a political giant in Tennessee, remembered by many for his honest common sense. Tonight, people all across the country are remembering former U.S. Senator Fred Thompson. And News Channel 5's Ben Hall joins us now, and you followed his career, correct? Well, that's right, and his death surprised a lot of people. His family said that they were by his side, and he died from a recurrence of lymphoma. Hey, politicians will say just about anything. His folksy demeanor and commanding presence served him well in the movies and in politics. Fred Thompson's career seemed like something out of Hollywood. But on January 21st, 1969... He first came onto the national stage during the Watergate hearings in 1973. As Republican counsel for the Watergate committee, he asked this now famous question to a White House aide for President Nixon. Mr. Butterfield, are you aware of the installation of any listening devices in the Oval Office of the President? I was aware of listening devices. Those tapes played a pivotal role in Nixon's resignation. And there's the president waving goodbye. After Watergate, Thompson came back to Tennessee as a lawyer. My name is Marie Rajanti. He took on another corruption case involving Marie Rajanti, an employee of the Pardon and Parole Board, fired by then Governor Ray Blanton. Somebody has to stand up to them, Fred. Fred Thompson later played himself in the movie Marie about the ouster of Governor Blanton. He then took on numerous movie roles. And a lot of people tell you if you look at all of Fred's roles in the movies, he always played himself. And I think that's kind of how he played himself in politics, too. Political analyst Pat Nolan remembers when Thompson decided to run for the U.S. Senate in Tennessee in 1994. He and Bill Frist led the Republican Revolution. They both defeated Democrats to take those seats away from the Democrats. And the Republicans have held those two Senate seats in Tennessee ever since, so that's over 20 years now. I'm excited. On the road again. Thompson ran against Congressman Jim Cooper, traveling the state in a red pickup truck, promising to change Washington. He left the Senate in 2002 and went back into TV and movie roles. His family said they were by his side when he died after recurrence of lymphoma. I was, I was almost shocked, I guess. I had not realized that he had had health problems. I mean. But tonight, Thompson is remembered for a remarkable life that started in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, and left a giant impact on our state. Thompson was 73 years old. His family has asked for prayers of comfort and peace tonight. And I'm sure many people are doing just that. Thank you so very much, Ben.